Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Klein. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to give some insights on the kind of woodworking I was doing for the couple years that preceded uh, tackling projects like the fossil table. So, so this is going to be a highlight of, of my journey up to the point where I started to make YouTube videos and, and get comfortable enough to do the kind of complex projects that I was really interested in showing off. I hope you find it informative and enjoyable. Uh, so here we go. The journey begins with a kitchen remodel project. Uh, we wanted to stay on a budget but make these old dated cabinets look more modern. They had this groove routed in the side so I came up with the idea of making them look like raised panels by gluing and tacking strips of wood around the outside and then painting with a really dark paint that looked like a stain. So you can see the old ones on the right and the remodeled ones on the left. I also had a funny empty space that uh, I thought would be a good spot for a wine cabinet. So. I built one and it turned out pretty good. Here it is with the finish, uh, or, or the paint not, not put on yet. The wine bottles rest on those metal bars. And that's what it looks like today, all full. So it really blends in pretty good with that dark paint. And there's the shot of the kitchen with all the cabinets remodeled. You notice we changed the ugly floor too. We have a gym in our basement and I made some wooden pull-up bars. I wish I'd used inch and a quarter oak, but the inch seems to be uh, thick enough that it doesn't cause problems. And it's a, it's a really good use of the negative space between the floor joists uh, to put your, your head in. Just make sure there aren't any nails coming through from the carpet, that, that'd be a bad deal. A similar sort of thing, I used to be into rock climbing before a kiddo came along and, and reduced my hobbies to one. So I made this rock climbing adult jungle gym thing that uh, used to be a lot of fun. Um, I, I was able to do uh, 20 of these transitions in a row, but uh, I'm just not down here enough to practice, so I didn't get that many for this demonstration. Uh, while we're down here, here's a storage tower I built based off the wood gears plans. It really holds a lot. And, and also, uh, worth noting, my wife is getting into working with glass. She just took a class and really likes it. Um, and she's really doing some cool stuff. Uh, this is a fused glass piece that she made and, and she's working on slumping some plates and things and I think there could be some really interesting opportunities to meld working with glass and, and woodworking. So, so I'm kind of thinking about how to bring that in. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. How intrigued are you? Okay, next also on the exercise beat, this is a laptop holder for the treadmill so you can do calls and things, work on the computer while you're while you're uh, getting some exercise and it just kind of sits in there. It, the center of gravity is, is shifted to the back of that metal rod so it really stays in place well. And this is just a great way to keep the blood flowing while you're editing your videos or doing a, a conference call, whatever it might be. Um, I, I really have gotten a lot of good use out of this when I'm able to work from home. So here's fast forward of me watching one of my videos in fast forward. And if you get sick of the treadmill, you can use the stationary bike to accomplish much the same thing. I'm doing these in chronological order, and up to this point I really hadn't made what I'd call nice furniture. I wanted to prove that I could do it so that my wife would, would let me try some more ambitious projects for the house. So I made the nicest laundry bin I could and then followed it up with one that corrected some functional deficiencies. Uh, this the second version made it really easy to pull the bag out, slip it out from around these rods that fit into the frame. Uh, really handy design. Gotten a lot of good use out of that and it's perfect for the space. Okay, so now building for the house. I made a toaster tray that is uh, it's purple heart, obviously, and that frame slips out from around the, the bottom so that it's really easy to clean up all the crumbs. They don't get stuck in corners and things. That's been a handy one. And now it was high time to try some honest-to-goodness fine furniture. You'll recognize this design from the fossil table. I did build two tables of, of similar design before. Uh, the big screw up here was 
having all the grain going the same way, then doing the edge banding, then having it crack because wood moves. So that was my wood movement lesson. So next uh, we put a fireplace in, a wood burning fireplace for our house and it clearly needed a mantle and I thought this would be a good project, fun one to, to custom build a mantle. So I laminated some pieces together and, and created a carved effect. This was actually from a template and then installed it to the, um, the two by fours behind the wall with, with screws and then I covered the holes with plugs that matched the grain as best I could and cut some joinery so that the slab mantle fit in there and, and uh, there you go. So that's that's a Sapili mantle. It's really sharp, I think. I also made a bellows. So I think this would be a fun build project. What do you guys think? Would you like to know how to make a bellows? This one's in the shape of a chess piece. It's actually a Christmas present for my dad, so it's not in our house anymore. The hardest part was the leather and getting those tacks in place right. And lastly, I made a bed. Uh, this is purely decorative, doesn't actually hold any weight, and if you remember my shop tour video, this was actually in process when I was, was shooting that shop tour. So it, it finished up pretty nice and, and all came together. This is actually the same cherry that, that I used to make the twisted table. Uh, so here it is set up in the living room, and that's the finished product. So there it is. Now you know the majority of my woodworking journey. I hope you enjoyed it, and look forward to uh, more to come.